let's take someone with a random with a random account with a random name that just seems attractive play live online against the world's top chess players while they stream their thoughts live as a chess 24 premium member seize the chance to have your moment of fame get a peek inside their lives with question and answer sessions in-depth teaching analysis and interviews the Champions Chess Tour, with countless accompanying events, is happening now. Tune in on Chess24. Hello everyone, uh, so uh, everyone a very happy new year as I haven't played any banter blitz after uh, December. Um, probably I did, I don't remember. So anyway, today we, uh, I'm going to try uh, blindfold banter blitz and uh, uh, we, uh, I can't see uh, any of my pieces as well as my opponents. And uh, since I need to focus a bit or quite a lot, uh, I'm going to uh, take your uh, questions after um, we complete the, uh, the, the whole uh, 90 minutes of blindfold uh, banter blades. So I have already accepted a challenge to check how it's working. So let's, uh, let's start playing. So I'm playing against uh, Givaldo. I probably have played him, I'm not sure. So uh, the first move uh, is uh, C4. Uh, and of course, I I can play something uh, you know some funny stuff, but it's also difficult to remember. So it's c4, b6, g3, bishop b7, uh, knight f3. Uh, let's go normal knight f6, uh, bishop g2, g6. I have to remember uh, that my bishop is unprotected. You know, uh, since he's he's he can see. Uh, so castle. So I have to remember where my pieces are. It's my last move is castle. Uh, so d4, which uh, is normal, and knight e4. So after knight e4, bishop e4. Uh, I think black's position is quite okay. I I think. Uh, um, I, I expect to, him to play queen c2, I'm not sure. So, knight d2, I can, I, uh, if queen was on c2, this would have been a, a good move. Uh, but here it doesn't really bother me as I can take knight c3. B takes c3 is necessary, otherwise knight takes d1. And now my bishop is hanging. So let's take the bishop, bishop c2, king c2. And this is a nice position for uh, black in my opinion. So I can go... Um, C6, D5, or uh, C5. Um, C5 could be nice, actually, if it works. Okay, let's go C5. So E3, which is, uh, he's defending the pawn on D4. I can just go Knight C6. Knight f3. Uh, not the move I was expecting, uh, to be honest. Uh, here I can go knight a5. c4 pawn is hanging, so I expect queen e2. I think black is already uh, having a good position, just queen c8 or queen c7. Queen c8, queen e6 is better. So d5. If not d5, uh, 
I would just take c takes d4 and queen takes c4 as my knight is on e5 and his queen is on e2. So I think d5 is most likely or what is it? Or maybe knight d2. He has knight d2. Bishop a3. So if I take c takes d4, c takes d4, queen c4, queen c4, knight c4, bishop e7. Um, therefore, I'm going to defend, uh, I, I play d6, now I'm uh, reinforcing the threat of c takes d4. Rook c1, that's nice, uh, as uh, he's defending the pawn on c4. Uh, let's go queen uh, a6. And now I'm threatening, of course, uh, queen c4 or knight c4. So he should he should play knight d2. Yeah, I think he should go for knight d2 and uh, to play d5 because c3 pawn is protected uh, since the rook is on c1. Yeah, so knight d2 has been played. Mm. So white has White is, white, white is going to play d5 next. Um, so it's it's a good idea to play e6, just to stop d5, and maybe even uh, get rook c8 at some point to get d5. I think this is really bad position for um, white. So probably rook f d1. Yeah, so I can either go rook f c8 or rook f d8. So rook f d8 maybe is a better move. F3, okay. So actually f3 doesn't uh, really help him uh, since um, he's not going to play e4. So let me bring rook a to c8, d5. Okay, unless I am missing something, which I think I'm not, because he takes d5, queen takes e2, e4. Okay. Um, so he's happy sacrificing a pawn, or oh, actually two pawns. So let's take the pawn. Shall we exchange the queen or not? Okay, let's do it. Queen takes c4, d takes c4, probably rook d5. Rook c2, b5, bishop c1, um, and let's go b4, bishop f4, bishop c3, bishop d6 probably, bishop d4, so bishop f4 and c3, this, this is just winning. I just have to remember the pieces. <laughs> Rook d4. Okay, this is because I can't see the pieces. That move is just uh, okay. I that's nice. Uh, so who is next? A beautiful game. I hope you do play a beautiful game.
d3, d5, knight f3. Now I'm not going to do, uh, you know, last banter blitz I had, uh, no, hand and brain, we had this uh, not to castle for 10 moves. Um, I'm afraid it's not such a great idea to do here. Okay, so castle. This is already good for white, I think, because I just go e4, e5. Here, typically, the plans for white is to go rook e1, e5, knight f1, h4, bishop g5, and try to checkmate black. D takes e4, okay. Uh, but then he gives e5, knight e4, c4, which is also quite unpleasant. So maybe he's yeah, black is gonna play c5 or b6. And once again, I can't read your chess because then I will know the position. So. Uh, queen c7, I can go e5. So knight g4 or knight f3, 7 rook e1, defending the pawn on e5. I think uh, he's going to play b6 here. Knight a6. I did not expect that move. Uh, where are my pieces? Ah, yes. Um, my knight is on d2. So let's go. Let's try to checkmate somehow. Mm, knight c4 or knight f1? I think knight f1 is good. So if I pawn is protected, and uh, I'm going to play h4, bishop f4, knight e3. Okay, so he's threatening knight e5. Let's move the queen. Now I can play bishop g5 as uh, the pawn on e5 is well protected. b6. Okay, why not to play bishop g5? So bishop takes g5, knight g5, um, some ideas with queen e4, you know, create some kind of weakness for on the black's king side. But he should take it. Why is he thinking? Uh, maybe he can play knight f8. Probably knight f8 is a better move. Knight e5 really doesn't work. So knight e5, queen e5, queen e5, knight takes e5, bishop g5, knight c6. So yeah, bishop g5, of course, g5. If he, he can't move the pawn, uh, c pawn, because bishop won g2, going to take on a8. So what is he planning to do? Bishop b7 should be logical. Rook at b8. Wow. I did not expect that move. Mm -hmm. So should I go rook at d1 or uh, queen h? Actually, I can win a pawn. Um, uh, why not? Let's win the pawn. Queen e4. So I'm threatening to take on h7 and uh, queen c6. 
so I expect knight f8 or g6. I think g6 is a bad move, so knight f8. I'm going to have Panther Blitz in uh, some days, so there you can suggest your openings and I will play. So G6 has been played. I don't think it's such a good idea um, because it gives me, you know, uh, knight e3, knight g4 and all kinds of things actually. Mm. Okay, let's go. Queen to f4, threatening to take on f7 and queen h7. So he should probably go knight f8, but then I can go knight e3, knight g4, and knight f6. So, ah, in fact, rook f8, I, I can go queen h4. I mean, that's not really a trick, but it's nice. Now, first I go rook a d1. If he moves the knight from d7, then I get the chance to go to e3, g4. But yeah, that's that's logical. Mm. Is he going to take on e5? I doubt. So let's go knight e3. So knight g4, rook d7, everything is coming. This should be lost. Uh, rook, rook d8. Okay, let's play simple chess. If there is... Can I go knight g4? Okay, let's go knight g4. Knight h6, knight f7 is one of the many threats. Uh, okay, let's take this bishop. Queen b7 is coming. Um, let's have a, some nice mate. Knight h7, king h7, queen h6, rook d7, and knight f6. That's the mate. Okay, so he didn't give me the chance, but uh, that was nice. Nice game by me. Um, so let's see who is next. Okay, so I'm going to play against the Feeding Master from Netherlands, I believe. Yeah, so... 25 14 so he goes d4 knight f6 uh london okay so i'm going to play as boring as possible here d6 knight c3 uh all right knight bd7 knight f3 Mm -hmm. Okay, so he wants to get e4. I have no idea how they play this. I know that d5 is bad. So let's go c5. d5. Okay, so this is some theory and unless I'm blundering something, he plays so fast. Okay, so g6, e4, bishop g7. Knight is uh, in wrong wrong place. It should come to c7 and uh, to, get, to get b5, but it's not 
so by he has uh, two ideas to go queen d2 and go for h4 h5 or he can simply go bishop to d3 and short castle you know just play solid yeah bishop e2 short castle um it's too early to say but i don't like my position so short castle is normal i need to get uh, b5 but it's not going to be easy um how do we, how do we do it okay a6 He's going to play a4, of course. Um, knight g4. Okay, let's go knight g4. Actually, knight d2 might be quite interesting here. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's what I didn't want him to play. Uh, the point is, if I go knight e5. Um, white can play knight bishop e3. So let's go back knight of knight gf6. It's really bad position. And whole problem is with the knight on d7 actually. e5. Usually a5 is a good move, but uh, here it's not entirely sure. So rook b8. Knight c4, so after b5, a takes b6, knight b6, knight a5. Is that what he wants? Yeah, definitely. Um, queen c7, stopping e5, and I'm going to play b5 next. He, I mean, ideally, white would like to have knight a4, knight b6, but uh, the pawn on e4 is hanging. So rook e1, and uh, now it's time to open. Knight b6, knight b6, I expect. Knight a5, so he wants knight, c, knight to c6, okay. Bishop to b7 or to d7? Okay, bishop to b7, but then I am losing uh, a6 pawn, right. Uh, It's a bad position. What have I done? It became so bad. Okay, let's go bishop b7. Let him take on b7 with the knight. Yeah, that was expected. Um, what to do, what to do? Uh, rook b7. Okay, so queen b7, queen bishop a6. Mm -hmm. Queen d7, I think e5 he might go. But e5, I have knight h5. Maybe bishop b5. He's playing very good. f3. He's really good. So the idea is to, what's the idea? This looks, uh, this looks bad actually. Uh, I don't know how to improve my position actually here. And I'm seriously short on time. So knight h5, bishop e3 should be played. Um, let's go e6. d takes e6 or bishop e5. I don't know. We will see. I think d takes e6 is going to play. Queen takes e6. Hopefully I can survive this. It's really bad. <laughs> Okay, 
Now I got some air to breathe. I can go knight c4, but it's still still unpleasant. Queen d3. So he's not giving me any chance. Bishop is d5. Uh, actually, I don't have any big threat, so knight d5 is good. I can take knight d5, e takes d5, and uh, something, queen f6. So I'm getting back a pawn, if it's useful or not, I have no idea. So c3, or... No, c3 rook b2 or also queen h4 is coming so this is this is far from over maybe i'm maybe i'm doing good Ooh. just i forgot some of my pieces <laughs> where they are uh, probably g3 yeah no g3 i have uh, many things queen f3 is also possible Queen e4, so he's stopping uh, queen h4. Talk less, talk less. So rook b4, c4. I want him to play c4 actually so that I can take on, but bishop c4 is nice. Uh, okay, let's do it. Although I don't know why I did it. Rook b1, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not so bad, but <laughs> I wanted it to, to play uh, rook b8, obviously. But we're good, we're good. Okay, let's exchange, which is my favorite. Okay. And he blundered uh, some things. He blundered more things. Actually, I can't see. Okay, nice, nice game. I couldn't, uh, I uh, cannot see uh, without increment. So I'm going to play with increment, obviously. So I'm going, uh, please challenge uh, with increment uh, because uh, you know, when I'm pre-moving, I can't see, uh, I really can't see uh, what's the last move. Um, okay, good game. Okay, so. I'm going to play against Blunder Panda from Austria. Okay, so I'm white. Uh, not not such a dangerous variation but bishop d6 is a bit strange of course it's perfectly playable um at least i i can uh, uh yeah so now his king is slightly you know Okay, let's castle. Just bring um, bishop e3, rook d1, or rook c1. It should be good for white. Wow, this, this panda is really greedy. 
transfer probably all pandas are. Uh, 94. I think it should be really bad to do such a thing with the king going d8. Mm. How do we do it? Let's first play c4. Knight c3, okay. Um, I can play bishop f3 and uh, followed by bishop b2. g7 is also hanging. After b takes c4, bishop c6. Oh, there's knight e2 check, but it doesn't matter really. Bishop b7 is a strange move. So now I, I have it, I have a lot of choice here. I can take on b5, knight b5 is forced. Let's do it. And then bishop b2 or rook d1. Uh, yeah, this is something I don't believe in. So is it bishop b2? Yeah, let's go bishop b2. Simply rook d1, uh, rook c1, uh, white should be much better here. F6. Okay, let's attack knight d6, knight c7. Mm -hmm. So rook a b1. I'm threatening bishop f6 and rook b7. And after bishop a6, I can go rook fc1, yeah. If rook b8, bishop d4. So I don't know. I think knight d6 was a better choice. I think here I feel my position is much better. Uh, yeah, it's it's. I don't know what is. Uh, I mean, which way he uh, white sh black should defend this bishop on b7. Maybe he could go bishop a6, but you know the king on d8 is quite exposed and. Um, Somehow he, he can't he can't save this. Maybe just knight d5 he should play and after bishop f6, uh, knight f6. Okay, so bishop a6 is good. I have uh, I have a choice actually. I can go. I can play even rook f d1. But okay, let's go rook f d rook f c1. It's a little tricky is after bishop d3, rook d1, obviously. So rook b8, I have bishop f6, and he fell for that. And it's over. Okay, good game. Uh, let's take someone with the rating. Uh, with, uh, yeah, so now I get. Uh, plus two. Um, I have played several times uh, with some of the players. So, so who is this? So we have Morozevich here. Let's play against Zevich. 
and I'm black again. Okay, so I'm going to play time on off, promote my course. Ah, I don't get the chance. Okay. Of course, he's Alexander Morozovich, so he doesn't. He's creative. I could have gone G. I could have played G5 actually, quite interesting. So C3. Um, okay, knight G7 for the moment. He still cannot play D4. Um, so let me also cancel. Rook D1, now he wants to play D4. So let's close it. Knight A3, D6. I could have played d5 actually, knight c2, yeah. That is one of the problems. Can I go f5? I don't know, but I will play it anyways. Usually you should not play f5 without playing h6 because knight g5, queen c4 comes. But in this case, I think my bluff has worked out just fine. F takes e4. Queen e4. Strange move. Aha, uh -huh. d5, he has, uh, but wait a minute. If I go bishop f5, where he wants? Queen e2 is forced. Um, yeah, I, I, okay, let's do this. Um, uh, how do we do it? C takes d4 or bishop f5. Okay, doesn't matter. Bishop f5, queen e2, most likely. C takes d4, c takes d4. Yeah, e4. So now he has he has some choice. Yeah, knight h4. This is this is the problem. He could he can go knight h4 here, but uh, d5. I why should I care? And knight f5, knight f5, just normal position. course he can try bishop g5 but okay black shouldn't be worse here mm. so queen b7 bishop h3 is my next move probably oh, also bishop g4 yeah i like my position actually Uh, what did we, what did we decide? Knight f5, is it knight f5? Yeah, knight f5. So I'm threatening to take on uh, d4. So bishop e3, of course, it's a good move. Um, okay, let's attack queen b6. I'm not sure if I would like to take on b2, but it's just keeping pressure on uh, b2 and uh, I will develop my rook to c8 or d8. And uh, of course, white has to take care of d4 pawn. Yeah, queen d2. Let's go with rook c8.
Okay. Okay. G4. Really? Why would you play this move? Really? This is not this is not how chess is played. Now knight f3 comes or just anything. G4 is really bad move. I think he expected me to play knight takes e3, but of course I have knight h4, knight f3, nice blockade. Um, I don't know, queen c7 or queen d7. Okay, let's go as something, queen c7. If I don't blunder, this is just winning easily. Bishop g5, so he wants to take, take uh, my knight on h4. Uh, should I go knight f3 or knight g2? Okay, let's play simple. Knight takes g2, knight takes g2, queen d7, threatening to take on uh, g4, queen e2, um, book f3, okay, book f3 should be good since I have pawn on e4. h3, now h5. If he moves the knight on c2, I'm going to take uh, knight d4, so that's his problem. Okay, what is this? Uh, h takes g4, h takes g4. King f1, okay. I can take knight d4 um, and play g3. Okay, let's play simple, g3. Rook takes g3, rook takes g3, f g3 and queen h3. Queen g2, um, okay, he's still not lost. He's fighting, let's go queen f5. Knight e3. Uh, bishop, uh, okay, then he loses the bishop. Knight d4. Okay, that was good game until he played. Uh, he played g4. Yeah. Ah, the mic. Ah, it's not. Uh, it's not uh, clear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to move my microphone a bit closer. Um, so there is Dink. Okay, so someone from USA. Um, Lego 94. Uh, okay, it's my move. Um, no bone cloud. Let's go B3. So d5, bishop b2. Okay, knight c6 is possible. e5, bishop b5. Wait, now he has queen g5, no? No, bishop d6, okay. So there is some issue which I do not know. After bishop d6, should I play knight f3 or not? Okay, let's try knight f3. I know there is a nice, uh, nice, I uh, nice pawn sec variation, but I don't recall in which, which, which direction. Uh, queen e7. So let's go d4. E4 is most likely, E4 will happen. And I am going to play knight E5. Which could be a mistake. Oh, just let's go knight F D2. I 
I expect a6 to be honest. Knight f6, okay. So let's let's go c4. B takes c4. B takes c4. I'm not sure how black is going to defend against the threats of c5 and d5. So a6, he didn't he just blunder blundered a piece after b takes bishop takes c6 and c5. Oh, b3 works perfectly fine. This is good. Rook b8, c takes d6, if rook b2, d takes e7. So, of course, uh, c takes d6, uh, bishop a3. Knight c3, short castle. This is just winning. Queen d7, did he, can I take e4 or not? I should be able to take e on e4. Knight takes e4, knight takes e4. Problem is after d5, uh, I can just take on f8. Bishop f8 is so that's why he's thinking uh, how he can escape. No, rook e8, maybe. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, I can play knight d6 since queen d6, bishop d6. So he should play rook e6. And knight c8 and short castle should be enough to win the game. Yeah, and my king is safe. Up, I'm up a piece and a pawn, so yeah, rook g6, trying some queen h3, g3, rook h6. Um, of course, there are many ways to defend it. I mean, let's try queen f3. Rook e8, rook a b1. h6, okay. Um, just something like uh, rook b3, rook f b1 should be enough. So what uh, what is he threatening actually? So rook e6 or what? So rook b3. Uh -huh. uh, let's make a move g3 and finish off all the uncertainty here. After rook e f6, just queen g2. There is no attack here. h5, okay. My opponent is playing quite aggressive. <laughs> okay, let's go e4. It's time to counter attack him. Uh, h4. Mm, can I play e5 or? Okay, actually, let's just play bishop c5. Luckily, after h3, I have queen h1. Otherwise, it would have been real bad news. H takes g3, 
Okay, let's change one look. So all my pawns are, are protected. So after rook f1, queen f1, um, rook b8, queen f5 is possible. So it's time to resign, I guess. Okay, queen e4 is the point, but yeah, just let's play solid queen f3, queen f3, rook f3. Yeah, okay. That was easy. So I'm going to play someone from Switzerland. Um, why? Why carry you? Okay, so let's start. It's hard to pronounce. Should I play London? Maybe I should. It seems easy. Okay, b6, e3, knight bd2. Bishop d3, h3, castle, bishop h2. So that's the point why you learn, why you play London from white side. You know 10 moves without, you don't have to worry. So, but here, this is interesting, knight h5, uh, since, um, okay, so let him take the bishop. I get the open file on h5. Um, should I go bishop d3? Yeah, looks bishop d3 is normal. h6, yes. I can go g4, g5, quite interesting. Uh, also, I can just play queen e2. Stopping anytime, bishop. Uh, bishop e7 is a bit strange, I think. Okay, let's push g4 to kind of scare him not to castle on the king side. Yeah, I think I managed it well. Um, long castle. Of course, if black is going to castle on the king side, He's going to have huge problems after g5 or something like that. Um, so he needs to find a way to castle on the queen side. So I expect a6 because knight f6, I have g5. So c5 is possible. So let's move the king. Queen c7. So c3, oh, no, it's a long castle. Um, so now we have normal position and uh, I can play solid with bishop a6. Bishop takes a6, queen a6. Of course, it's nothing special, but uh, quite an easy position to play. Okay, let's take the bishop. Queen b7, oh, king b7, okay. King b7, I didn't expect. I need to somehow get d5, e5, knight e4 kind of a thing. Um, so if I start with d5, e d5, he has knight f6. So I start with queen d3. Uh, I would like to get d5 and, you know, somehow make him play e5. Of 
course he can play knight f6 probably he should play knight f6 yeah probably knight f6 is a good move but he did not and uh, here after d5 he has c4 okay let's try A small trick let's see if it works e5 okay so now it's good news since e5 is played we can safely play c4 not to allow any kind of c4 knight c5 or something like that um, have nice control over f5 h5 squares uh, if knight f6, uh, he wants to take on uh, g4. If queen f5, he has g6. So I have to play, I have to play g5. Or I can go knight h2. h5 so if i go g5 so if after knight h7 i have uh, i can play g6 so i'm not really worried uh, knight g4 but here he's losing some material after knight g4 g4 um just queen f5 i believe Queen g4 is coming next. So maybe g3, you know, good or bad, he should try to. Uh huh. Queen d8. That is a strange move. Um, that's really strange move. Okay, rook h8. Queen h8. Queen f7. I think rook c7. Queen f8. Uh, so queen f8. Knight d4. Defending g5 on f2, probably rook h8 he should go. I mean, it's probably winning for white, uh, just king. Oh, that's strange. Rook h1. Oh, okay. Rook d1, h1. Rook f5, uh, rook h7, bishop f8, uh, I mean, king c2 a6, a4. King d7, um, so king d3, king d7, king d2. Yeah, now I just take the pawn, rook h4. Rook g4, um, f3, idea knight g3 check. Okay, he fell for it. Knight g3, knight f5, e4, rook h4. Yeah, this is pretty much winning. So b3, just rook d6 or rook b8, anything is winning. Bishop f3, rook d6, rook d8, rook d6. Yeah, this this was quite interesting actually. Not not easy. Uh uh, please challenge uh, with increment. So who is this? I see Sagar Shah here. Uh, Mr. ACZ. 
from Austria. Okay. Uh, C4, knight mm, f6. I can, I can play e6 or e5 or even c5. Let's play e5. Knight f3, knight c6, g3, bishop b4. Not sure if I should take the knight here or not. Mm, okay, let's take it. D3. So the plans are to play E4 and get some point at some point. Uh, Knight d2 and uh, knight d2 f4. Um, so I can go knight d7, knight c5, or I can go rook. Rook eight is not very useful because he's going to play e4 in any case. So let's move the rook from here. Okay, bishop g5, bishop f6, queen f6. Bishop g5 was a really strange move, I think. Um, so, should I go bishop e6 or? But my opponent doesn't think. That's very strange. Okay, let's move bishop d7. I want to see what's the idea. He plays really fast. Knight d2. Um, okay, b6. That was a huge mistake. After queen a4, I'm, I'm probably losing something. Hopefully he doesn't see it. Yeah, that was a bad move, e4. Luckily, he didn't see it. Um, okay, let's at least get b5, b4. Um, white has to play a4 here. Oh, f4. He's giving me c3 pawn, huh? But I don't want to take it. Because after e takes f4, he is going to play d4. That is his evil trick. Okay, let's move the queen from here. He was incredibly fast. After f5, I have to play f6. I cannot allow f6. Uh, and yeah, I have to go f6. Actually, it would be nice to bring the king uh, from g8 to a7. So knight f3. Obviously, he wants knight h4 and something, I guess. So let's go b5. Knight h4, of course. So rook, rook to where? Oh, maybe I can go bishop e8. So knight g6, I can take. I need to play a bit quick. C takes b5. Uh, if I take. Um, with the pawn, I should take with the pawn, of course. Rook f2. Aha, so rook fb2 is uh, his idea. Okay, makes sense. So bishop f7. Rook 
rook f b2 knight g6 okay bishop g6 hg6 um so it's probably a good idea to play queen e6 at some point no uh -huh. I also want to get knight e7, uh, but queen b3, he doesn't give me the option. So queen b3, a takes b3, uh, b4. So c takes b4, knight d4, and you know, that's really good. Nice position. Okay, that's a good move, but I can go rook b7 after c takes b4 i can just take ah but here i missed something bishop h3 is good okay then i go knight d4 rook c4 rook b8 rook a1 uh okay c6 maybe rook c6 oh but i could give 90 to check okay next move okay so let's give the check Knight c1, uh, rook b4, rook b6. If he takes it's lost, so then I'm going to take it. King e3. Um, let's move this rook from here. Rook b6. No, no, no draw, no draw, no draw. That's too optimistic, my friend. I mean, I cannot lose here. I actually don't know what I'm doing here because it's not so easy to win this. Uh, okay, but let me try a bit. He's fighting. Okay. I cannot, I couldn't agree to the draw there. I mean, probably it was, it was indeed a draw, uh, but I was in good. Okay, so who is this guy who says, I am the guy? Um, so I play black against, I am the guy. Let's see if he is the guy.
Queen's Gambit. Accept that. Knight C3. Okay, that's a bit strange. Usually they, everyone plays E5, but okay, it's possible. Yeah, it's nice to get knight bd7, knight f8, knight g6, um, but also it's important to castle first. Bishop g5, h6. This is not such a great idea to, to put the bishop on h4. So let me first play rook e8. Okay, so now now I can get knight bd7, knight f8, knight g6. It's good position for black. Yeah, he can. If if the bishop was on e3, he could go knight d2, bring the bishop to e2, then knight c4, rook c1, and so on. But right now, this bishop on h4 is a bit weird. He could probably still go knight d2. F3 bishop F2, which which seems normal. Rook A C Rook C1. There is no A C1. Knight of eight. It's hard to attack uh, the pawn on C7 because it's def it's uh, well defended. Um, A3, um, he wants to get B4 or what's the idea? Uh, here I can play Bishop G4, um, but then uh, he's going to play Bishop E2. Uh, therefore I will play Knight G6 first to have Bishop G3, then Knight H5. Knight H5, does he have Knight E5 by any chance? Knight g3, knight g6, knight f1. So it doesn't work. Yeah, I can go knight h5. And then knight gf4 or bishop g4. Uh, it's in fact pretty nice position for um, black. You can go knight f4 here. Okay, let's try first bishop g4 to see what what exactly he's trying to do. He can't push b5 because the pawn on a3 is hanging. Um, maybe bishop e2? Queen d3 of course is, queen b3 is a very bad move. This is really bad. Um, I hope the knight is on c3. So we should have three. We need to take with the pawn. And now uh, queen f6. Queen f6, what is he going to play after queen f6? Bishop e2. Knight d1. Yeah, this this whole thing looks um, quite quite shaky. I think. So queen is protecting the pawn on f3. However, if I go knight hf4. Then h5 at some point h4 will come. Look e1. Okay, so let's go h5. It's 
so queen g5 is also there i don't know it I, to me it seems a pretty bad position so king h1 uh, can I go knight h5, knight h3, knight h3 with the idea of h4, if bishop f1, then knight g5, and then again h4. Yes. If he protects the pawn on f3, then, um, okay, so now h4 wins the piece. Yeah, that was the reason I said uh, he should not have played. Um, I can go h3 as well, but let's take this. f takes g3. Okay, I don't know, but uh, this should be made somehow. So queen e7. Queen e3, knight h7. F4, he takes F4, knight takes, okay. But he's losing the rook on C1, which he didn't see. Yeah. That was pretty convincing, I believe. Uh, so I play against Diagol. E minus C one one two. Okay, that is far from right pronunciation. Are you going to play Taimanov? Then I could have played. Uh, okay. I hope he's. He didn't study any of the courses. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Is he planning to play f5 next or what? If I go b4? Uh, I doubt very much if he's going to play for f5. Yeah, queen e7, of course, uh, a good move. I can play b5 actually, it's quite interesting. Let's try b5. That is not very, very sound. Um, just a4, knight d2, knight c4, um, with really nice position for, for white. f5, just f3, queen b1, queen b3, not to blunder the piece. Yeah, now just queen b1, queen b3, followed by a5 is uh, pretty, pretty good. So let's bring the queen. Of course, he can try some f4, g5, but uh, it should it shouldn't be f uh, fast. Queen h4, so he wants bishop h6. Is it? Or yeah, should be bishop h6. Um, but I do believe that knight c4. If bishop h6, maybe queen e1. Simply good. Uh, 
Also, knight d6 is a serious threat now because queen uh, queen is moved from uh, e7. So yeah, he had to he had to move uh, his queen back. Uh, can I play a5 here? It's it's too soon. Okay, let's increase the pressure. Queen b3. It's possible to um, rook, uh, rook a d8. Um, now it's uh, it's possible to get a5. After c takes b5, knight b5, and knight d6 should be good. g5. Okay, let's take this first. Take some tempo. Actually, e takes f5 is also pretty, pretty good, I think. Um, should I go for <laughs> all in? Or just play simple chess. Let's do it. Queen f5, maybe. Yeah, I can actually take rook eight and b takes c six after queen f5. So maybe he uh, he will take on b5. It's possible. Yeah, then I take rook eight, rook eight. Rook takes a8, um, b takes c6, knight b6, you know, everything is falling apart. And c7. Or just bishop c5. Yeah, I cannot play. Uh, I can't play after rook b8, c7, because after rook b7, c8, rook c8, I can't capture. Wow. Knight g4. Um, pretty aggressive move. So if I. Uh, okay, so if I take on c5, he's gonna play e4. Knight e4, queen c5, bishop d4, knight c5, and rook a1. I mean, I can't capture that, so that's his trick. Makes sense. It's a good move, but I think it's not enough. Knight e3, knight e3 is uh, safe. Queen f4, of course. Um, what happens if I play rook e1 actually? Let's play rook e1. e4. Um, okay. d takes e4. Rook a1. Okay, so rook a1, uh, knight bd5, I need to close this bishop with c3, I think that's enough. Okay. And queen b7 should be winning, is it? Okay, let's take some points. Oh, I forgot. I forgot something. G4, knight g4. No, I'm losing.
maybe not. Okay, let's take this and finish it off. Okay, so one last game and uh, okay, let's take three plus two. Uh, some uh, because I lost some challenge. Okay, let's go. I'm playing against Sagarsha. Need to teach. I need to teach Sagarsha. Never expected this from him. Mm. It's very tricky. He's going for out okay let's go if you are going to get e4 i'm going to break in the center mm, that's not really good because now i get knight d knight c6 and uh, where do you go queen d1 This is bad position for white, I believe. A queen h4. Wow, Sagarsha is super aggressive. So rook e8. Still don't see what is the what is the trick. I just want to get d4 and take on e2. It's a very simple plan. G4. Okay, D4. Let's do. Okay, ninety four is definitely not the, not what. He wanted to play because this looks like a lost position. F takes e4, bishop g4, and e2 is hanging. Um, if rook e1, bishop b4. So knight g1 probably he's going to play. Bishop f4. Okay, so bishop e2. I'll just get d3 now. Isn't d isn't d3 just winning? Bishop d6, rook d6, knight f4, knight d4. Yeah. With the idea to get d2 at some point. Knight c2 is next. So rook e1 or rook g1 maybe. Rook e1 makes sense. Um, but this is really bad. Um, just rook c8. Bishop h3 and rook c2. And just collect all the pawns. Hmm. Let's let me play the most simplest way. I, I take g takes f6 after rook f6 here. Yeah. 
should have three. Um, okay, you can do. He still can't take on e2 because, uh, yeah, take knight f3, king f3, b5. This is just lost b4 a5 um pretty much anything so okay i don't know king f8 B3. I cannot checkmate because I have pawns on F6 and F7 and I have always king G7. I just push A4, rook C2, B2, A3, A2, and queen. E5. Okay, just take it. So the only trick is that uh, king f6, so let me play king e7, h4, uh, okay, let's push a4, let's have rook c2, b, okay, b2 is maybe not a good move, let's go a3. A2. Dude, there are just too many pawns. <laughs> uh, it's queen, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that was really tough and challenging. Uh, I hope uh, you all enjoyed. And... Um, um, I can uh, take some questions. Of course, I have to open um, open the chat. And I mean, I don't know how to open this chest 24 chat if, I, if you can give me the link. I, it's, is it Sagar Shah? Oh. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it's Sagar Shah. Uh, so I hope uh, all of you enjoyed uh, enjoyed the blindfold blitz, Panther blitz. And uh, if you have some questions, uh, please um, um, Panther. Yeah, so uh, Sachin Verma asks uh, if I'm playing in Bundesliga. Um, yeah, it, it has been postponed to uh, June, so I can't play right now um regarding uh, the next next event i don't know who um, when i'm i mean when which event i'm going to play in uh, uh, grand chess i mean uh, in champions chess tour um, so thank you um, I, i'm reading also the twitch chat uh, of course if you ask i'm going thank you for thank you for your wishes um, I haven't, uh, I don't know which, uh, which tournament I'm going to play someone SPH. Okay. Rockstar. Yeah. You, uh, guys, I can see the Twitch chat. So if you ask, uh, some question, of course I can, uh, I can answer. Um, Roland, who was my hardest rival? I think every pretty much everyone, uh, every game is tough, uh, but of course uh, the game um, against Ali Reza was uh, tough. Um, and um, um, Heisen, Heisham, uh, how can we be like you? I think uh, you just, you need to work hard and uh, there is nothing else I can, uh, you know, I have some secret formula. And uh, yeah, Bharat thought, 
Bharathan asks uh, tips on visualization. So yeah, you can uh, of course uh, uh, improve by um, thinking uh, about the positions which you analyzed, obviously. Um, so yeah, ev 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 uh, so general question, uh, every, uh, everybody asked, uh, you know, on Twitch or YouTube that about the thing um, on Ali Reza's incident, I think uh, it's unfortunate and uh, it's, it's, uh, it, it's definitely uh, uh, not pleasant uh, to move the table for the player when, uh, when we are playing. Uh, but on the other hand, um, I have only one request that uh, uh, Tata Steel 2021 should not be remembered only with this incident because uh, um, organizers, players and everyone involved uh, to happen this uh, wonderful event. We had to, um, we had a lot of, um, uh, you know, things we had to do in order to uh, play this event. And uh, I do hope that everyone um, uh, remember nice games played by fantastic players. Uh, Jordan uh, and Anish uh, did excellent. Ali Reza did wonderful, and I'm sure that he's going to do great in uh, future events. Um, so, Uh, I I do not know if there will be uh, uh, which events are going to take place over the board in India 2021, but I do hope uh, the Tata Steel in India, uh, you know, uh, will take place in in, uh, in Kolkata as uh, last two editions in 2018 and 2019. Wonderful event with uh, great uh, great players. So this will be uh, the right moment, um, and once everything um, uh, the, once everything is possible, you know you have to check all the regulations and uh, to follow uh, as recommended by the local authorities. Um, yeah, I already answered the question about the hardest game for me in Tata Steel. So what are my hobbies as LS Maple? I like to play a lot of sports actually. And uh, I am um, not really artistic person to say that I will draw or paint and such things, but I like to play various sports. Um, Uh, Vienna Gambit is good. I mean, it, it all, there is nothing like uh, bad or good or something. Of course, it, uh, if you just go with King to the center in first five moves, it's going to be bad. Um, so... Uh, So uh, I am Saket asks any tips for positional play. So positional play, uh, even positional play doesn't mean just you understand and you are going to win games. Uh, you have to have certain um, amount of calculation when, uh, even if you are really good at positional play. So uh, one has to study his own games uh, and um, you play online, you play blades, but at the same time you do uh, have to analyze and you need to study, you need to uh, learn from your mistakes. And of course that is how you, you are going to improve. And uh, you need to play blitz uh, in order to get practice. Um, Pushkar Gupta says, uh, asks if I will be part of upcoming Champions Chess Tour, probably. And uh, I mean, it's it was great opportunity for me to play in Air Things Masters. And uh, we will see. <laughs> favorite, favorite Serbian food. Oh, a lot of, lot of, uh, lot of stuff. Uh, 
uh, for kutu thank you thank you i i hope i hope it's good uh, what are my favorite openings for white and black i like the french defense from from both sides actually and uh, also the time on off which uh, i have completed a course on chessable um, by the way there are a lot of courses on chessable not just my french and time on off but uh, uh, excellent courses by very strong grandmasters and uh, you guys should definitely check it out and there is uh, a huge discounts going on uh, for valentine valentines day um no sniping mike no i am living in prague right now um you know like there are so many uh strong players of course uh, uh you know the the champions chess tour organizers obviously uh decides uh, based on the uh, rankings and give opportunities to new players so um it they are trying to balance uh with the wild cards and the interesting players young players so that's how it goes uh, every player cannot play uh in every tournament but uh, of course when you get the opportunity i try to do uh, my best uh no i can't uh, speak uh, german of course uh, i know some words in german magic schon <laughs> uh about the streaming uh, i um i i mean i am doing lot of uh, stuff for chess 24 uh, like the banter blitz which is going to uh, which is on uh, which is day after tomorrow at 1 pm so don't miss it because uh, then i'm going to read uh, more uh, on take your questions from youtube or twitch or chess 24 server and uh, some more events uh, and i uh, Uh, obviously i love uh, these events because uh, i can interact with uh, my fans and uh, chess lovers um in future maybe i will have some channel just to interact but uh, it's it's more like uh, uh it's 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 difficult to uh, dedicate too many hours for streaming for me um and uh, but definitely i have uh, i have uh some things in mind uh but mainly to uh play give a chance uh for uh, just 24 members and uh, uh to interact with a uh, lot of fans because i cannot i'm unable to respond uh, all the messages i'm getting and uh, lots of love so uh, i i hope to somehow uh interact with uh, all of you people uh um, anand patel asks so when is a good time for kids to start chess um it of course depends on the kid uh some kids start late but uh, they pick, uh, they understand the game and improve fast and uh, some kids uh, can start uh, like 4 years or 5 years it's hard to um, it, it it's not correct to uh, enforce uh, uh, something of your interest on the kids uh, but of course if the kid likes it so you should encourage uh do you do private lessons oh i'm very expensive <laughs> heisenheim he heisen hisham yeah and bharatan no i'm not coaching anyone at the moment i'm uh, really busy with uh, the the book i have completed Uh, on french defense and uh, the courses i do for chessable as well as uh, the events activities i do on chess 24 apart from uh, playing many online events and over the board events eddie the eagle yeah that's that's great that's great uh, that's great spread the dream and uh, you know create interest for uh, young kids that's great 
Uh, sniping mic, yes, I am. Uh, I am near. Uh, I I was born near Guntur. Yes, I I studied in Guntur. Uh, Pushkar Gupta asks uh, thoughts on today's matchup of Anish versus Raja. So, guys, I am going to comment on uh, Ginger GM uh, channel. Um, so, I am pretty excited to see this uh, matchup uh, because. Um, Rajabov did not lose a single game uh, in the preliminaries, and uh, I'm sure he's uh, he's going to change his uh, way of playing and uh, um, try try when he gets chances. And it is it is quite different when you are going to play a single opponent many times. And uh, of course, this is very very this is going to be very very interesting match. And also, uh, the match between. Uh, Dubov and uh, Magnus Carlsen. So um, all matchups are uh, really. Uh, I'm I'm sure it's going to be uh, of high quality, and uh, I am going to comment uh, in uh, Ginger GM channel. So if you want to see, um, you know, talk more about uh, the games, uh, do tune in. Um, I think. Uh, uh, it starts at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. I think uh, the prelims was 5 p.m. but should be 6. Um, Stalin Gaming, yeah, thank you, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm working on that. I'm I hope uh, I hope I will improve and uh, cross 2750. Um, what books? Uh, Z, Z just in just out. So what books? Uh, you should definitely read my book on French defense. Um, but uh, there are also fantastic books uh, by Boris Gelfand. Um, then uh, the great predecessors, but uh, also reading some of the classics uh, could be really useful. Um, so I think, uh, uh, Alice Maple classic rapid blitz. Um, I, as a player, I am fine, uh, playing any format except bullet, of course. Um, but I prefer, uh, classic classical or rapid, uh, to blitz, um, because I like over the, uh, to play over the board blitz, uh, in online, of course, sometimes uh, um, there can be connection issues, but in rapid, that's not an issue uh, as uh, you always have some time to set it up or uh, fix, fix, <coughs> sorry, fix the problem. Um, yes, uh, Stalin Gaming, yes, of course, uh, there is, if there is a PSU Tony, uh, yes, I'm going, I will travel. Uh, I indeed uh, took, uh, we had a lot of, uh, I mean, all the strong players play in the PSU tourney is public sector unit tourney. Um, so I guess, uh, <laughs> I, uh, beta Wolfang, yeah, I, I don't, I mean, it's not about I'm getting good or not, but uh, it's about the time, obviously. And, uh, you know, it's unclear if I should go for Twitch or uh, YouTube. Uh, so, of course, it, it depends uh, which, which platform, uh, you know, is uh, more encouraging or, let's say, more interesting. Uh, we'll see. You can, uh, you can leave in the comments if I should do Twitch or uh, YouTube so I can, I, I can get some uh, idea. And uh, uh, if, if I didn't manage to answer all your questions you can read uh, you can leave your comments and uh, probably i will uh, i will answer them in the next panther blitz or you can join uh, today ginger gm channel or panther blitz uh, day after tomorrow so i hope um, i hope that's it for uh, for today and uh, i hope you all enjoyed uh, have a good good day